Welcome to another installment of Yoga Solutions, a Google Apps Script training. Today, what I'm going to show you is the use of something that I'm fairly fond of, which is adding a custom menu to Google Sheets. Now, I want to actually use the direct sample that is available through the reference guide on the Google Apps Script developers section. Now, let me first take you guys to this site, the developers.google.com app script. This here is going to be your uh, holy grail of information. It has all the reference material you essentially need regarding all of the Google Suite services currently active from calendars, context, documents, drive, all the code uh, information that you're going to be needing to reference as you go getting more and more into. Uh, working with Google Apps Script within a spreadsheet. Now, in this case, uh, we are focusing only on the menu, so I'm going to focus on that. Now, I've gone to the Google Spreadsheet, and I have specifically made my way over to the Add Menu section. Now, this here, this one command is built specifically along the idea of creating a menu entry that will be appearing if you go to a spreadsheet on the top right past the help button that menu is particularly helpful when you start creating uh, functions and other tools within Google uh, Apps Scripts that you want to be able to call on demand uh, such as if for example you want to have a um, a button that creates an automatic mail merge only once you've filled in certain information or anything along those lines. Uh, in this case, what we're going to do, just for the sake of maintaining everything in the most simplest of manner, we're going to actually copy directly the existing sample of the add menu so that that way we can go straight to Google Sheets you go to tools, you go to script editor. In this case, I've actually taken the liberty of opening up script editor on a separate side so that it's a little bit easier to see. Now, here's what we have done. We have come to the script editor and under the code, we have added our existing format for creating a menu as per the Google Apps Script uh, websites, developer sites reference. You have, just to explain, your first function, onopen. Onopen is actually a keyword. This is found in a function will automatically run the moment you open a Google spreadsheet. You will not have to click on anything. The moment you open up the spreadsheet, it will run this particular line of code. So this is actually particularly good if, say, for example, you want to have a uh, a uh, particular code run and update certain information. Like in the event that you are tapping into an API, maybe you want that whenever you open up a spreadsheet, it automatically grabs the most recent data from that API. So you would normally want to use this. In this case, we're going to have so that an on open, it's going to create our menu. Now, what we are doing is you have your variable SS, which is going to be spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet. Spreadsheet app is how you call upon the existing uh, library of code that is available for the spreadsheet app. Of Google Suite. Now that's essentially everything that ends up affecting the Google Sheets side of things. Now you have dot get active spreadsheet. This here essentially just grabs whatever spreadsheet has just recently been opened and thus is active. Now there is an alternative that you can use to this, which would be spreadsheet app dot get uh, open open file, open by ID, open by URL. I tend to sometimes, if I have a different uh, spreadsheet I want to reference for whatever I'm doing, I will reference the ID itself directly. This ID 
is used so that that way, no matter what occurs, I'm always calling the correct spreadsheet. And it's actually very simple to identify. This huge piece of information present here is the unique identifier for each spreadsheet. If I were to copy that and throw it in there, this would always make a reference directly to that one spreadsheet. Whether I'm running the code while that spreadsheet is open or not, it will always grab the information from there. But for the sake of this exercise, we're going to stick to get active spreadsheet. Now, we've created our call to the current spreadsheet, which we're calling SS, and we are creating a array repository. Now, this here is essentially a uh, dictionary of sorts for all of the menu entries that we wish to put in play. In this case, we're going to be putting into the menu entries all of the um, functions that we wish to use. Now in this case, we have the sample menu dot push. Push is a word that essentially adds a particular value, in this case these two, into the menu entries array. So you have the name, which would be menu entry 1, and the function, which would be function 1. Now take note specifically of name and function name. These are presets so that it'll recognize that this here is what will appear in the menu itself, and this is the reference to the function that you will be using. Uh, when you click that button. And you'll notice here there's a null that adds a line separator before you add the next one. Now once you've created the array lists, once you've created your list of functions, which you could essentially, you could keep on adding more if we so want it. We could just keep on adding as many as we want. Now just keep on adding into the menu which is what makes it very versatile as you get more and more items you need to, uh, to keep in order. But in this case, we're only going to have these two. Now you'll notice here SS, which means we're calling the current active spreadsheet, which means in this active spreadsheet, we want to add the menu called Add Menu Example. And that Add Menu Example is going to have the menu entries that we defined here. So let's call this by saving it. Now in this case, I'm actually going to close this because I want to show how the unopen works. So let's close this. And I'm actually going to close this guy as well. Now you'll notice here there's currently nothing present. So let's close. We open the Google Sheets training sheet we were just working on. Please pay attention to this corner. You'll notice that it will continue working. And all of a sudden, a new entry has been added to the top list. Right past the last item, which would be help, you'll see Add Menu, Menu Entry 1, Menu Entry 2. With this simplicity, you now have a menu that can be added in any way and or form, so that that way all your functions can be easily organized. Now let's say for example, in this case, we have test entry. Now I want to be able to click that button. Oh, I apologize, I forgot that. This is actually worth noting. Google Due to security settings, that requires you to acknowledge that you're running the script because you don't want something accidentally running in the background. So you usually want to just go ahead, click advanced, select the code, it'll tell you what is affecting, allow. Okay, so that, that allowed it to run the script, but you'll see here there is no script currently running for function one. Now let's see what went wrong. Well, it's actually pretty simple. 
we currently don't have a function called function1. So let's take care of that. So in this case, we're going to have a... Oops, I can't spell today. Function, and we're going to call this function1. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to have this one. So I'm going to take this particular command here and I'm going to have it do something very simple. So in this case, you have your variable SS spreadsheet app, which takes the current active spreadsheet. I'm having it take the active sheet. Now, there's a reason I'm doing this. If I happen to have multiple sheets and I run that, that code will run specifically on whatever sheet I currently have open, but not in any of the others. This allows you to ensure you're only running where you want it to run. So in this case, what we're going to do is uh, sheet dot get range. Uh, in this case, we're gonna use a one notation. So we're gonna do one uh, dot get value, and then sheet dot set. And oh. that's uh, I'm having a moment. Set the range to B one dot set value and when I do this um P one. Add a holder here for. Uh, let's just call it T for the time being. So, let me explain very quickly what I've just done. So, I've created a function called function one, which, when selected and ran, will create uh, a particular action. Now, it'll look at the spreadsheet that's currently open. It'll take the currently active sheet. It'll take the value present in A1, which in this case would be test entry. It'll then look at the same sheet that's active, designate B1, and it'll create a new value saying our response. Now let's save. And let's test that out. Now mind you, I have done nothing other than changing code in the back, referencing function 1, which you'll see is referenced here. So we're going to add menu, menu entry 1. Ah, I have done something wrong. Hmm. That's what it was. Pardon me, gentlemen and ladies who may be watching. I made reference to the wrong code. So, set active selection. That's the one you want to call upon. So let's try that one more time. Aha! There we go. So, let's try this again. So you have your test entry. 
and once I clicked my menu entry, my code ran. What did it do? It selected B1 and it added the information that I requested. Now I can just as simply update that for every time I click that button. Now you can have however many functions you'd like once again and have those functions do whatever you'd like them to do but it is always best to have a nice clean menu that you can make use of so that that way you can always run them as you need. That now concludes our little tutorial on how to create a menu and in this case also how to create a small function for that menu. Thank you very much for watching.